In this OEE monitoring concept, there are several production lines, and each production line can consist of more than one machine with a series or sequential production flow. Data is collected from the relays on the machines, and received by the PLC. The PLC is connected to node red in the production line, which then records the data into the database according to the signal conditions received from the relays. Node red in the production line also has a dashboard used by operators to input their IDs, change the running product, input defects, select the stop category during downtime, and monitor the OEE value in real time. On the server, there is also an OEE dashboard that can be accessed from any computer connected to the network. On this main dashboard, besides viewing historical OEE data by date, we can also download the reports in Excel format. To learn more about the OEE Excel report, you can watch my previous video. At the end of each production shift, each node read in the production line will automatically send an email with the OEE details for the previous shift to related persons. In this video, I will show an example of using the automatic email feature in the OEE monitoring system. The first step is to install the required node, which is node red node email. Go to the manage palette, select the install tab, search email, and then click install. To learn more about how to use this node, please visit flows.notter.org slash node slash node red node email. This is the node we will use to send emails automatically. In the email node, there are several fields that need to be filled in, such as recipient, server, port, sender's user ID, and password. In this example, I will use my website's email address, which is leantool.com. To use other email services like Gmail, please refer to the node's documentation page. To ensure that the email will be successfully delivered to the recipient's inbox without being marked as spam or rejected by the recipient's server, we need to perform email deliverability validation in the cPanel of the web hosting. Ensure that the email deliverability status is valid. If not, click the repair button located on the right until the status changes to valid. This is the node red flow I created to send OEE data report automatically. Firstly, there are several inject nodes used as a trigger. There are three inject nodes triggering at the end of each production shift, one for shift 1, another for shift 2, and the last one for shift 3. After the inject node, there's a series of nodes used to fetch data from the database based on the production line, production date, and shift. For the email subject that will be sent, don't forget to create a message topic to be used as the email subject. All the retrieved data is then stored in the message payload variable. Later on, I compile this data into an HTML format using a template node. This is the template node used to compile all the variables obtained from the previous nodes. The payload in this node is formatted as HTML, which will be used as the content of the email to be sent to the email node. This is the email node. In this example, I will send it to my Gmail address from the website's email address. Fill in the server, port, user ID, and password according to the settings on the website's cPanel page. Now, let's try sending an email by manually triggering from the inject node. Let's wait for the flow to fetch the data, and send it through the email node. Let's check, there should be an email arriving in my Gmail inbox. The email subject contains information about the production line name, shift, and production date. This is the email received containing OEE information from the production line, including operation time, OEE value and factors, OEE versus losses, stop categories for downtime, output quantity, defect quantity, and other relevant data. In this video, I demonstrated how to automate OEE data reporting using Node-RED. We set up triggers at the end of each production shift using inject nodes. Data was fetched from the database based on production line, date, and shift, 
compiled into HTML format using a template node, and then sent as an email using an email node. This automated process ensures timely and accurate reporting of OEE metrics, enhancing efficiency in production monitoring. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in setting up OEE monitoring system in your factory, please contact me via email. See you in the next video.